Schools provide more than an education. They also provide meals. And for some students, those meals may be the only food they get. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran tells us about the Syracuse City School District summer program, ensuring thousands of kids don't go hungry while school's on break. You might say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but for some children, any meal can be hard to come by. That's why the Syracuse City School District is working to keep minds occupied and bellies full this summer. We offer free breakfast, free lunch, and snack in many locations throughout the summer. Children show up. They come, they can participate in different activities. The only requirement is that you're 18 or younger. You don't have to be enrolled in summer school or even be a city resident. The distributions will take place at schools, community centers, and parks. With the challenging times parents are dealing with, they hope to ease the burden. As prices rise and families are strained and the food budget shrinks, Summer meals are available to help support you. Please participate. Get the kids out. Come with them. Bring them here. We want to feed the children, especially in the city of Syracuse. During the school year, about 16,000 students receive meals, but during the summer program, only about four to 5,000 students are served. Murphy hopes that more families will utilize the summer resource. And within Syracuse, where the poverty data translates to over 14,000 children are living below the poverty line, according to the 2020 Census Bureau data. Those numbers show how important this summer program is, and they want families to visit any of their sites to ensure children have the necessary nutrition to thrive. In Syracuse, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9. The district received state and federal funding for the program. We have the days, the times, the locations of the meal distributions on localsyr.com.